Wow, what a beautiful performance. What a knockout from the juggernaut from Joe Joyce. That was a vintage heavyweight performance. He reminded me a lot of George Foreman, a young George Foreman, not the old version of George Foreman. Boy, oh boy, Joe Joyce did some mean things in <laughs> this fight to your man, Joseph Parker. He beat the living shit out of Joseph Parker. That's the only thing I can say. This title is... The, the video is titled Destruction. Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker. Post fight reaction. What the fuck did he just do to Joseph Parker? That was a demolition job. I only give Joseph Parker round one. And from round one, I tweeted post fight. Let me read the tweet real quick. Uh, give me one second. Twitter loading. First round. Parker won the first, but had to work every second of the round. I think Joyce drowns him late. And what happened right there? Joyce drowned him late. Knocked him out beautifully. One left took. It was all over. It was all over. Joseph Parker got fucked up. And I think Andy Lee should have stopped this fight way back. From round six, I had to round six at 10 a round. I had round eight at 10 a round. I would have pulled it after round nine. Maybe even as early as round eight. Because it was clear Joe Joyce was the better fighter, the stronger fighter, the quicker fighter. Joseph Parker's speed meant nothing. Because the guy with the quicker feet was Joe Joyce. Just because you have the quicker hands does not mean you're the quicker fighter. Joe Joyce, throughout the fight, his feet were quicker. It was a beautiful knockout. Left hook. Catches. I'm seeing the replay. It's a funny ass knockout because Joseph Parker's like trying to catch something while he's falling down. He goes right between the ropes. Boom. Left hook. Fight's over. He beat the living shot of Joseph Parker. I only had Joseph Parker winning one round. Round one, and that was a very close a swing round. I had Joe Joyce dominating the entire fight. I have no idea what the fuck these commentators are talking about. The book, hey, man, even though Joe Joyce was controlling the entire round, Joseph Parker had landed a couple of shots to close out the round, so I can't tell who won that round. That's not how boxing works. You don't judge just less than seconds. You judge the entire 180, 180 seconds of the round. And almost every single round, Joe Joyce performed better throughout the round. Joe Joyce put on a dominant performance. Joe Joyce solidifies himself as number three right now in the heavyweight division. I would easily pick Joe Joyce over Anthony Joshua against Anthony Wilder. Ugh, I, I, I don't know if I'd pick him, but I have to rank him higher. Even if Wilder beats Hellenius in dominant fashion. Because right now, Joe Joyce, you could say he has two better wins than anything Wilder has ever done. And Joseph Parker and Daniel Dubois. He has good secondary wins and Carlos Stakeham and Brian Jennings as well. So Joe Joyce has already has a great resume under his belt without fighting for a championship yet. Yeah. He could easily be a champion very soon because this fight was for the interim WBO title. If Usyk vacates his title, can't defend against Joyce, he's going to, uh, Joyce is going to be the new WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Usyk versus Joyce is very interesting because I think Usyk has slowed down quite a bit speed wise since they fought in the WBSS tournament. And Joyce is a very, 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 very horrific fighter to fight against. He makes you work for every second of that fight. I have no idea. Other than Deontay Wilder, I can't pick someone straight out against Joyce. The only reason is he can be beating up Deontay Wilder for several rounds, while Wilder only needs one punch. And he knocks you clean out. So that's my take about Joe Joyce. That's my take about the heavyweight division. I think Joe Joyce cemented himself as the third best heavyweight tonight. He put on a fantastic performance. Absolutely fantastic performance. Joseph Parker, will he come again? I don't know. So this is his second loss in his last three fights. I thought he lost against Tristora the first time around. He was dropped badly. And here he took an absolute beating. There is no reason for him to take a beating of those last three rounds. I thought Andalee should have had shown some balls and stopped that fight. Because when a fighter is too brave for his own good... The trainer better not be brave with him. If the fighter has heart, the trainer better not have heart. The trainer needs to have decency, kindness, protect this fighter from his own self. And Andy Lee did not show that tonight. So a huge, huge, huge boo for me to, uh, towards Andy Lee. Joe Joyce cements himself as the third best heavyweight in the world right now. I, I know I saw sparring footage of Joshua boxing around Joe Joyce, but there's no fucking way Joshua's going to take this pressure from Joe Joyce. Joshua goes out in six or seven rounds, my opinion. I don't think he lasts that long against Joe Joyce. 
Now that's all I got for tonight. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Sneak Boxing out.